Tell us a little bit about this experience because this was a, this a big time semifinal. That's a great team you played, and I, I imagine it brings the best out of you guys. Yeah, I mean, I think from the very beginning, you could tell we were locked in. We came with uh, everything we had. We did not take these guys lightly. Uh, they're a very good team. You know, everybody's trying to to get you to talk smack or say they're not very good, and we're like, no, they're a very good team. And and I think we showed tonight how much better we are. So uh, so yeah, we put ourselves just in, in a great spot. Reaching a, a CCL final is rare. Yeah. For MLS clubs. Winning it, even rarer, Seattle did it for the first time. Have you guys thought about the, uh, the, the historical significance of this run you guys are on? Definitely, yeah. I mean, it's, it plays into everything we're doing. But uh, again, I've said this kind of from the beginning of the season. We've got a club here and a team here with aspirations to win everything we play in. And we've got a team that can do it. And so anything less than that, it, even in a you know CONCACAF-style tournament, anything less than that, we feel like we're letting ourselves down. So we've done en enough so far to get to the final, but job's not done. We still got a lot to do. If I could ask you a question about San Jose, because I'm doing something for that yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. Because they've, they've done very well against LAFC. Yes, yes. Uh, obviously, you guys want to go there and uh, kind of right the ship a little bit against them. So what, what does that, that, that matchup mean to you guys? Yeah, it's a hard place to play. They haven't been historically good for the last couple of years, and so it's easy to kind of go up there and think it's going to be an easy game and that we're going to walk away with a win, and that's that's bit us uh, the last couple of times we've gone up there especially. So uh, we need to take it serious. Uh, we need to be ready to go. They've got a new coach. They've got some new kind of uh, – uh, DNA, a new identity of who they want to be as a club, and uh, they're still figuring themselves out. And so you never know what you're going to get with them, and we need to come there and, or go there and be ready to, to take it to them from the start. If you let them get comfortable, you let them feel like they uh, are in control of the game, it's not going to be good for us. Yeah, I, I, I mean, we're managing it as well as we can. You look around the rest of the world, though, and, and Champions League is a thing that every team is dealing with at this level. And so uh, we're watching some of these better teams in the in the world compete at high levels midweek, weekend, doesn't matter. And so for us, there's no excuse. There's a little bit more travel, a lot of bit more travel here, which that's tough. Like, it's hard to... It's hard to deal with, you know, flying to Nashville, five-hour flight, fly back, get no sleep, turn around a day later, fly out to Philadelphia, six-hour flight, fly back. You know, no other, no other leagues in the world are dealing with that. So it's a, it's a different sort of setup we have here in the U.S. that we have to deal with, but we're not here to make excuses. We're here to, to, to say if, if other teams can do it, other leagues can do it, we want to we wanna do the same. So uh, I think we've showed that too. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's the thing, man. It's like everything's so spread out over here in CONCACAF. So every game is a five-hour fly. Every game you get you land in your away game, your legs are heavy. But it's the same for both teams. They have to fly here, and they have to be heavy too. So, uh, again, no excuses. We just got to be ready to play. Yeah. Yes. Dude, I mean, it's it's huge. That is, uh, I think that's why we've been so successful. And you watch these guys come on. They've got no attitude. They're not pouting. They're not, like, mad they came on in the 75th. A guy like Mahala comes on, and this guy just runs his, just runs, like, all day long, looking to be aggressive, looking to get into the final third, looking to score a goal. And so you see these guys come on, and it's like, rather than being uh, frustrated at not getting the start, and having a you know a case to make for why he should be getting a start, of course. But instead, he comes on with the mindset of like, I'm subbing in. I got 20 minutes left in the game. Their defense is tired. I'm gonna run at them all day long. I'm gonna get me get me a goal. I'm gonna help my team win. And that's exactly what he did. And so, they've created an environment here where it's not about your ego. It's not about you. It's about the team. And everybody's bought into that. And you see it. You see it every time somebody steps on the field. Hey, Brian. Yeah, it's world class, man. It's world class. These guys do a phenomenal job. Uh, there's very few players they've brought in as a a big signing, as a as a 
role player, kind of anything that's flops. You know, it's very rare that they do that here. And that's not true around the rest of the league. You see guys come in all the time on these big ticket prices and they produce nothing. And uh, I don't want to say though, that's just recruiting. I think a huge part of it is recruiting, but I think a huge part of it too is once they get here, the club is giving them all of the tools they need to feel comfortable, to have their families get settled. So like, man, there's so many things that happen off the pitch that play into how you play on the pitch. And so they're dealing with all of that stuff here from getting your family in, getting you settled, getting you a place to live, getting you playing your best football as quickly as possible. Uh, you know, you see a guy like Denis who came in last year, had some games, uh, made an impact, but nothing like what he's doing this year. And this year they've got him just running on and firing on all cylinders. So it takes everybody in the club. And I'm telling you, that's what they've done here is they have from recruiting to office staff to the admin assistants, you know, everybody's doing their job and taking care of the, us as, as much as they can. And so it's been, it's been phenomenal.